and welcome back to another video. So I went back into my YouTube um, channels, like videos, and just kind of scrolled and looked for when was the last time I redrew my old OCs. And it's been like, I think December 30th was the last time I drew one of my old OCs. So I thought I could bring it back and do another one. So I, I did sort the comments by most popular and scrolled until I saw one of the most like thumbs up suggestions of which of my old OCs that I should draw and Hisoka was the one that got the most um, from what I could see but we'll do Hisoka first just because that was the first one I saw when I sorted it the comments so um, yeah I'll put some pictures of him on the screen and I will kind of basically redraw the one from the character sheet looking one probably just because the one headshot is a little bit... Oh, he could do the one with the headshot. Yeah, we'll do the one with the headshot, I guess. His hair is a little bit longer than I used to draw him, so we'll see how I draw him today. Okay, hopefully this goes well. Let me change the light. Well, I probably won't change the lighting. The lighting's gonna change anyways, because the weather. And I know a lot of people who didn't watch the video fully before commenting said that... Oh, is it Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter? I didn't watch Hunter x Hunter when I was in like the 8th grade or whenever I started making my OC, so I was not aware of him. So I do apologize that if I put Hisoka in the title, none of you guys will think it would be the Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. So I think at the time when I was making my OCs. Hisoka was the OC that was the youngest. He was pretty much like the one that was the same age as me growing up. I've always made my other OCs like in high school. Like they were in high school while I was in middle school. Just because like at the time I was like, wow, like high schoolers are so cool and stuff, right? Like people who are older, I found very like, wow, they're so cool. But I wanted to have one OC that was like my age. So that I can make them on the, I guess like the cuter side. So, um, a little bit more about Hisoka as a character though. <laughs> what is wrong with his eyes? So me. See if I can fix this first. This is why you have to flip your drawings. I did not draw his eyes on the same plane as a character is that um, I think in my redraw I did draw redraw my OC Daiki and Daiki was um, like my favorite OC and for some reason like as a kid I was into like more of like tragic stories or plot lines so I had planned out for like Daiki's story that he was like an only child, his parents got into an accident or something. So basically he's just like alone by himself, but he, his cousin, which is also Hisoka, had like a similar experience. So they were just basically relying on each other and kind of like they're their only family, like family. I believe is how the story went. There's obviously a lot of like plot holes and stuff and a lot of things that didn't make sense because as a 12 year old who didn't know what they were doing and just wanted to draw anything at that point. And I guess I didn't, maybe it was because I didn't really want to draw like parents for them, which sounds very sad. It was probably the reason why I didn't, like I made a story like that. I think at some point Hisoka became more of my favorite. I think my type in characters kind of shift. Like, I've always liked the cool characters or, like, the happier ones, the more outgoing characters, but I became more drawn to cute characters as I grew older. And I think it's just because, like, I like drawing cute things. Which is why I feel like I went through like a whole like you know drawing females for a long time and I switched over to drawing males because I wanted to improve that. And then I was just stuck in drawing boys for like 
who gods know how long. Let's see. I gave him a neck, but in this one, he does have a scarf kind of covering his face. But I think, like, other than my Wusi Sairi and Kyoshi, and I guess, like, Mimi and Daiki, I think I didn't really give anyone else, like, love interests. And that's, like, like, like that's kind of the same thing that happened to, like, my current OCs. Like, Masaki, Koji, and Sato don't. But I kind of want to give Sato and, um, Koji, like, love interests. Because I think it would be cute to give Koji one, like, one of his classmates that he's interested in. And then I think Sato would be already in, like, a relationship. I don't know why. Whenever I wanted to draw, like, quote-unquote, like, cute characters, I always gave them, like, really big scarves or... Yeah, I think it's mostly scarves, because even, like, at some point, I think Sairi had more of a scarf design at some point. I don't know if it, like... Oh, and the purpose of these videos is that um, I'm kind of trying to stick with their old designs. But just drawing them how I think they would exist if I drew them today. It's kind of like drawing fan art with my old OCs for my like 12 year old, 13 year old self. I guess he's more nervous. And I think, like, even back then, I drew hair, like, super long. And I don't think I understood why, because I don't think I imagined them with really long hair. And I think it's until I started drawing, like, actual real people that I understood the length of hair on characters a little bit better. But I don't think that was my intention for any of these characters. So we'll see if I alter the length to fit what I think I thought I wanted when I was younger. <laughs> I'm not sure why I was so attached to such bright colors like this. I think like I still use really bright colors, but not to like this extent. Okay, let's change the shape of this. Give it more of a like a larger opening. I feel like I don't know how to draw scarves. I'm getting rid of all of this to redo it. It's a little too wide for someone who's supposed to be a little bit on the, the younger side. Yeah, maybe I won't cover his chin area. I guess I won't put in those little lines for his scarf. Or should I? Maybe I'll put it like very faintly. Because then the actual texture of his scarf, it looks like it's, I don't, like some kind of ribbing. Is it a ribbing? I don't know what it's called. Like the little, like if you had scarves, like sometimes they have like designs here. Right? Actually, I'm going to dig around in my hard drive and see if I can find another picture of him because I'm pretty sure I have like it's some kind of like chibi version of him and he has like shorter hair. Okay, after some digging, I actually found one from 2017 where I did a redraw of my old OCs again and I think I've shown this one of Daiki before version, but he does um have less of a floofy head, I guess, does that make sense? <laughs> So he's definitely more round because I remember having like some kind of inkling of remembering his hair was not as like big so I'm glad I found this one he's looking extremely round I think like that's what I wanted when I was younger because I think Daiki and Hisoka had too close of like a hairstyle at that point well, not at that point but like before I feel like it's fun revisiting your old designs. 
because I don't approach things the same way as I usually do anymore. Like, there's some habits that I do now that I don't do when I was younger, and like habits that I had when I was younger that I don't do now. Something like this. I give him a giant zipper. Kind of like the other design though. I'm like merging a bunch of different references just because this one is purely a headshot, which as you can tell, like I like drawing headshots when I was younger. <laughs> Maybe I should put his hand in here. Yeah, but Hisoka was more of like the shy type. I feel like I wanted to have one female character and one male character that were shy. I don't think they existed in the same story though. The noise sounds a lot closer for some reason. I couldn't see anyone doing actual yard work, so who knows what's going on outside. Which design do I do? I think the most recent one has him with black. So... I guess it's this one? Definitely a little bit confused on how I wanted to draw him. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit and kind of darken up some lines just to make the coloring process a little bit easier. <laughs> what is this hand? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this, I think. Okay, so duplicate. I'm gonna hide this one change the background color to be something- did I do background colors for my other OCs? She had more of a warmer one. He had blue. So some of them do and some of them don't. I've only done two of my OCs. I swear I did more. I was imagining things. But kind of light. The color doesn't look accurate for you guys. I'll put the picture at the end or something. Some kind of comparison so you guys can see. I actually forgot to change the sketch color. So let me put in his flesh color and then his skin color. Let's say skin color. I don't know why I said flesh color. <laughs> that sounds ominous. Okay, so set this to multiply. Not darken. Multiply. Then we're gonna go change the hue to be a little bit more saturated, a little bit lighter. Lean it towards a yellowy brown. That's good. Do most of the shading and stuff for his skin first. His nose. I think as like the lighting changes in my room, it might be get hard like might be harder to see. Oh, but hopefully like after I place some of the other colors down. It'll be easier to see. I think it's because the background's so light, it, like my camera has nowhere to focus exactly. The under portion of his eyes. I've been doing this more recently. It's kind of... What is that noise? Adding this to like the under portion of their eyes. I think it's gonna be interesting once I return back to doing a few more of these is when I draw Kaori. Kaori? Kaori, I guess that's her name. Kaori. I said Kaori when I was younger, I think. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Kaori. Kaori. But, um, her design is really weird. Terrible, terrible design where she has, like, those arm sleeve thingies. Like, almost like, like, it covers, like, this portion of your arm, right? It's kind of almost like a, a wristband, but it's, like, your whole forearm. And then she had, like, I think weird socks, weird shoes, short pants, and this weird like graphic tee. She also had like a beanie, but she also had ribbons in her hair. She had like a whole bunch of things that seems like they would clash. I think every time I drew like a nervous, anxious like character, I was like projecting myself into them. Like, the amount of, like, how incredibly shy I was, especially, like, during 
junior high was... I don't know. Sometimes I wish I went out of my shell a lot more. I'm gonna make this upper portion a lot darker. I like using- or not using, making the upper and bottom lash quite dark. Well, mostly like the upper lash line. The dark- like the lower lash line, I kind of match it with one of these colors. Digitally a lot more than traditionally, so I feel like I want to do Go back to do more watercolor stuff soon Even though I know it's not everyone's favorite. I still enjoy it But digital I can experiment a little bit more because like even A lot of you guys give a lot of love to this one. Let me see if I can show you guys Because I kind of like put like pumped out two drawings in one day <laughs> So this one I did on a live stream and then finished it off like I think yesterday. So it's the one of Wano. And then the one of Dogyam. Where is he? Right here. I think this one turned out actually really nice. It was good like a good study I guess. Because I got to really just delve into like the fabric, learn about more about the colors and stuff. So I think I really like this one a lot. And I'm glad like a lot of you guys liked it as well. And he has more of like orangey... Orangey hair? Or light brown. Be a little too dark. So I'm just adding shadow. Kind of. Just to the bottom portion of his hair first. Kind of establish kind of like a band where the highlights will be. But then we can choose a bit of a darker color. I also like to add a shift in hue so it doesn't look too monochromatic. And we can add this to Deepen up shadows and kind of define some of these strands of the hair. So I have the saturation of some of the highlight colors because this looks a little too pale and too big of a contrast for against part of his hair. I used green a lot more when I was younger compared to now. I feel like like I use green because of foliage. Not really for, like, characters. <laughs> None of the camera colors are looking correct. Painting scarves are gonna be the end of me, <laughs> like... How do I... How do I figure out which one overlaps where? I'm introducing a different color. In the shadows just to vary it up a little bit so it doesn't look too monochromatic like similar how I did the hair. And then his shirt is black. A little bit of the green to the black. To some areas. I'm gonna choose. It's a little bit too muted. Yeah, we'll have to add the green afterwards. To add the shadows. So I don't know how I want to do this. Deepen up these shadows even more by adding kind of like a dark blue. Actually, let's lean it towards purple <laughs> or like an indigo, ultramarinish color. I think it'll look too out of place after we render a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the sketch layer and erase anything I don't need. It might make it harder for me to 
render this a little bit more easily. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this one, merge it down so now everything is on one layer except for the background color. And now we're gonna clean up everything. <laughs> okay, I took like a break. I think Nisoka is actually looking really cute. So, I did merge it already, so we're gonna just clean this up. I'm gonna switch brushes, choose a little bit of a darker color for the corner of the mouth. I feel like I always use this as like the safety, the safety net. <laughs> I will, I will render the mouth the first thing, as the first thing. I'm a little lazy, so I'm just gonna bump this up using the liquify tool to make his mouth a little bit more even. I'm gonna pick colors from here to do the nose. Actually, I want it darker down here. Have to even out his eyes, because that was like one of the issues. I had during the sketching portion. I always feel like maybe I should have made his eyes a little bit more like droopy looking, a little bit more sad. The lighter yellow color, do this. I feel like. Sometimes I do this with eyes and sometimes I don't. I feel like it's just preference. I feel like if it's more stylized, I'll do it. I feel like OCs and some Genshin characters. Kind of adding this kind of orangey color to these parts of the eyes. I do like adding some other miscellaneous color, but something that's still present in the entire piece to be to be there. For some reason, when I said Todd, it reminded me of like one of my old professors. So I think like in one of my very first printmaking classes, um, I believe my prof was like Polish, and then my one of the technicians was German. And I went up for my critique and you do like a one-on-one -on -one critique and for some reason the technician decided to like be present for the critique for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because he wants to get to know us because we're like a fresh new batch of um, students. But they decided to mess with me and one started speaking Polish, the other one started speaking German. And they were just asking me questions. Like I can tell it was a question because of like the intonation of the... It just sounds like they're asking me something, right? And they're just both staring at me after having a conversation. Now, I don't know if they were understanding what each other said, but if they weren't, they did a good job acting like they did. It just put me on the spot because they're both looking at me and I'm just like... So I have one prof. We have my technician. wild hair. This is me. It's like, why can't you just review my work, please? But they were messing with me because I went first for some reason. They're very, they're very, very kind, but it just threw me for a loop. And also like my technician during like general just printmaking. I think it wasn't screen printing, it was like lino cut, I think. So he was our tech. Um basically, um he's he's very funny, I guess. He would hide little mandarin oranges. We have like signs in our studio and like entrances that go downstairs, like to the stairwell and stuff. So we have like a bunch of signs 
near our studio and he would hide little oranges on top of the sign and then people would ask like why are there little mandarins up there he's like i don't know and we're like is it you and he's like no it's definitely not like there's no reason for me to put little mandarin oranges on top of signs right we're like okay and now that i think about it i don't even know when he took them down we just accepted the fact that we had mandarin oranges living on top of like the little signages we had at the exits so hopefully hisoka won't take too long to draw or not even draw like finish because this design is actually fairly simple and i actually really like the color combination of like mostly dark colors and then just pops of colors or like little highlights of not so dark areas but i feel like my knowledge of like clothing hasn't changed that much so can i really criticize my own self well, i mean i can but should i <laughs> really need to work on commissions soon. I'm behind. A lot of them are in the coloring stages, so it's just the matter of time, putting in the time to color them all. So I'm kind of not making his eyebrows prominent if it's covered by hair for the most part. And I feel like it always like depends on my mood. Cause sometimes they make the eyebrows like they stand out quite a bit from the hair even though it's covered i feel like sometimes i should just open up the second view i zoom in so much that i feel like it would be more beneficial if i zoomed in while having some kind of second window open so i should really open up that reference tab Where's the Aho Gego even going? I don't know if I like how I'm shading his hair. Try to make this hair section make a little bit more sense. this really clean trying doing more like straight lines okay it's pinky the pawn clean up any miscellaneous colors in here it does still look a little weird So it looks like um, some of the other versions that I've drawn him has more of like this like a dress shirt kind of look underneath his sweater. the lighter yellowy green on this side just because like I do have majority of the light coming from this side well I mean it's mostly actually hmm I think I have I had the light source going this way at some point but the highlight tells me it's here same with this but then overall skin is telling me it's more on like the front hopefully the colors don't look too dull because I think it's like partially because of how my webcam is picking up the cooler colors. I think it's okay picking up like warm colors. But for some reason cool colors like... It doesn't pick it up accurately. I hate it's picking up like more yellowy tones. Or purple. Yeah, none of these make really any sense. Nor does my talking. 
Yeah, I don't know if I want to put in the these little seams into it. So let's get rid of these. Maybe I'll try to alternate so it's always male, female, male, female. So maybe I'll do mint next time when I return to this, because apparently... I think the last time I did this was back in like December 30th or something like that, where I did Sairi. But, uh, so that means it's been like almost seven months. It's been six, but yeah. Yeah, I think, what am I listening to? Okay. Yeah, I think he's done. I don't think I'm gonna do too much. I don't think I could do the scarf any better than I have currently, just because I don't think I spent the proper time even just figuring out where each chunk goes. So it looks a little bit off. But I think he still looks pretty cute, and I think it's more accurate to how I wanted him to look like when I was younger. Um, especially like versus like my 2017 version. That's definitely a lot closer to this. Um yeah, so let's go over the time-lapse really quick. That's where I went wrong with his eyes. Look how dramatic of the change. Lift it up a bit. But like, for the most part, his face looked really cute when I started. I still- I like the movement of the scarf here a lot more. Like, it was a lot more planned. But because it looked too much like a turtleneck, I had to change it. Adding in a hand. Yeah, I think he looks quite cute. Which is kind of like the main purpose of his character. I just wanted another like cuter, younger character. Just to have contrast with the other characters who are more or less like all the same in the age range. Even though like a two-year difference isn't that much of a difference of age, I guess. And this is when we start to clean up. Yeah, I think it looks really cute. My little doodle. <laughs> oh, derpy. Yeah, but I think he looks cuter with shorter hair compared to the longer hair. The longer hair just makes him look... I don't know. I think it's because how I drew every male's hair at that time was all very long. I feel like for Momo, I would keep his hair long. Kiyoshi's hair is going to be longer, probably like closer to Masaki's length. I even think Daiki's hair was quite long. Even though like I ended up changing that from my other versions, but when I was doing the redraw for Daiki, his was longer than one of my more recent ones that I've done. Like, I have a 2017 version of Daiki as well. So that's kind of like what I'm comparing it to. But I think, doesn't he, he looks a lot cuter, like completely round. <laughs> Maybe this is my preference. So, um, overall time, just because I don't want people to get the wrong idea of thinking that I took only half an hour. So we took about two hours to do this. And I think, this is good progress in terms of two hours, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw the new version or the redraw version of my OC Hisoka, and I'll talk to you guys next time with another video, and hopefully it won't be like a gazillion years since the next time I redraw my other OCs that were kind of abandoned from my junior high, high school days. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!